video three which is the third video in a nine part video series on how to understand your patterns using the Enneagram. So today's video is going to be on type three which is the achiever type. So the achiever pattern is again it's very self-explanatory it's about achieving. So it's about when we have this pattern it's about you know being sort of focused on what we're achieving on the outside, what we're producing, whether we're succeeding in life or not. And, you know, like all of these patterns, it's not that it's a bad thing, it's not that it's a good thing, it's just whether it's helpful or unhelpful to us in certain situations. So the obvious plus side of the achiever pattern is that it gets things done. So obviously we wouldn't want a world where we didn't have anyone achieving or doing anything and we certainly wouldn't want to live our lives in a way that we're not progressing and moving forwards. So obviously that's a really great helpful pattern to have to achieve, to want to progress and succeed. On the flip side of that, the the issue can be when you're running this achiever pattern to the point that it's almost like taking over your life and that's the only way you know how to be in the world, that's when it starts getting a bit tricky. Because if you're somebody that, you know, you see yourself as somebody that really thinks big, you know, you want to succeed, you want to do all these things in the world. But if you're focused on that to the point that you're missing the inside stuff, you know, that's where things get tricky. And, you know, another another issue is, is that it can cause a massive amount of stress because if you're constantly pushing and constantly striving for the next thing, you know, you can imagine how stressful that can be sometimes because a lot of um, the achiever pattern tends to be um, centred around, you know, certain issues like, you know, we often don't want to delegate to other people because we feel like we can do it, we know what we want to do. Delegating to other people can be really tricky. Um, another thing is that, you know, if you're constantly um, having this achiever pattern, it's really, really hard to switch off because sometimes, you know, you can be, you know, you can keep going, keep going, your brain is kind of ticking over and over. But are you somebody that, you know, you work hard and you push yourself and you do well, but can you switch off? You know, do you make time for relaxation? Do you make time for other people? You know, are you a workaholic? Do you make time for connections? Um, do you have fun and joy and spontaneous things in your life? You know, is there a balance? And I think it always comes down to balance because none of these patterns that I talk about in this video series are, like I said, they're good or bad, but it's about getting the right balance. And it's not about, you know, it's not what we do necessarily it's how we're doing it so you can have somebody that's achieving really going for it really living working and doing all of the great stuff but they're also doing it in a very authentic way to them they're connecting with what they need to connect with and they're looking after themselves you can have an achiever who's also you know reaching their goals and doing incredible work but you know they drop down dead you know, with a heart attack five years in because they haven't learned to look after themselves and nourish themselves. And the other thing with the achiever pattern um, I'd point out is that there's a whole thing that we have in society as well, you know, that we're taught really young when we're in school, is that to be a good person and to be, you know, successful, it is about achieving. And I think we learn really young when we're at school that the value that we have for ourselves comes from the outside and I think that's what trips people are up it certainly tripped me up so when I used to work as a lawyer and I was doing the achieving and driving and succeeding and all of that great stuff um, my value was completely placed on what I achieved and what I produced so when I got ill and I lost all of that and I couldn't produce anything that's when I hit really rock bottom because my whole entire value was placed on the outside so it wasn't until I went down the really, really long, hard road, you know, but I learned it now. I've learned that my value comes from deep, deep within. And that's a really solid place to be. My value comes from me as a person. What I do on the outside is great. It's a plus. It's a bonus. It's, they're all the things I want to do to achieve. And I am driven and determined, but it's coming from a different place. So 
check it out with yourself if you recognize this pattern in yourself or in other people that you know and check it out are you achieving brilliant if you are how are you doing it make sure you look after yourself you know connect with the things that matter to you because it isn't just about the results you know and it isn't just about what we're doing on the outside world there's a whole world inside of us and you know it is about the fun and the joy and the passion as well so that's the achiever pattern and the next video I'll be talking about is type four, which is the romantic, which is also really interesting. So if you have any comments, just drop them below or send me a private message and I'll see you again very shortly in the next video. Take care. <laughs>